It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted? From Disneyland to Death Valley, wine country to the coast, there is no better place to live, work, and play than right here. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and as we slowly and safely come out of quarantine, consider LA Unscripted your ultimate tour guide. Now that being said, it doesn't mean I try every single thing we feature here every day at 7 p.m., shameless plug, Unscripted, but you can. Now a local pot shop reveals why curbside cannabis could be the safest way to pick up weed. Today's pandemic is changing how patrons pick up pot. Being an essential business, we didn't know what to expect, but we prepared for it. We've enacted a lot of safeguards and precautions. From gloved bud tenders to masked security guards. We want our community to take all precautions to stay safe and healthy. We do realize that not everyone is taking these necessary precautions, so we're essentially trying to do it for them. We're trying to provide them a safe service to keep them safe and to keep us safe. New dispensary rules and regulations now legally permit weed shops like WHTC and Studio City to function like a fast food drive through When it comes to the curbside, we're social distancing, we're wearing gloves, we're masked, we're taking everything into account, we're constantly washing our hands, taking hygiene to the next level, uh, and as well as our delivery drivers, the way they handle cash, the way they interact with customers. Uh, this has been a new challenge. Owner Alan B suggests curbside cannabis or home delivery are the safest options to get your goods. Part of keeping our staff safe is for our medical patients who do need cannabis. We need to keep them safe in the transaction itself. And hopes other local mom and pops will soon be flying high. If you're planning a visit to WHTC, we highly recommend you visit our website, www.whtcla.com, to be able to place a pickup or delivery order. This will really expedite the process for everyone and make it a lot easier. Interesting. And you know, in California, marijuana is legal. And I didn't know this, it's also considered to be an essential business, just not here in the TV business. Although someone is clearly celebrating today, but it's Friday, and I hope everyone's celebrating LA Unscripted's premiere week. So want to cheers with me? You can. Now in Trends with Benefits, pull up a virtual bar stool. Woo, who's doing that? It's been a long pandemic. It is time to make some cocktails. Joining me now is Frankie Fayheld. Tell me about Snake Oil. So we're a beverage catering company in Southern California. Uh, we've been in business for about 10 years. I just read an article the other day that people are actually drinking more because of the pandemic. Tell me what, what you do with the people in the virtual barstool program. With the Zoom technology and different platforms, we basically are able to host large groups and do presentations of a mixology sort, classes, where we can actually send the ingredients, send the tools uh, to the people who are attending and taking part. And what we do is we have a little presentation and we make our first cocktail with everybody and give them a little history and background on where that cocktail comes from. We'll be able to do it with groups um, across the United States or even internationally. And, that, and that's kind of what forced us to think in a different direction. And, and it's been really successful so far. You actually came up with a very special cocktail for LA Unscripted, correct? So uh, we wanted to kind of make something that really speaks to uh, Southern California, something that's refreshing, but unique and vibrant. Okay, Frankie, let's do it. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is start to cut your citrus in half. Go ahead and grab our muddler. So we're gonna go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup. The okay. next step, 
we're gonna go ahead and add our alcohol. Yeah! We're gonna now do an ounce and a half of vodka. You sure we don't need well, more? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We shake a cocktail for three and a half reasons. Do you know what any of those are? Well, to get it cold, to mix it. That's okay. two. I don't know the rest. So the third one is to dilute the cocktail because all the flavors are concentrated. So when we shake, the ice will melt and dilute oh. the cocktail a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, now garnish. Cheers, thank you. Oh my gosh, and cheers to Ellie Unscripted. Now again, just because we feature it does not mean I'm doing it. All right, the LA Unscripted premiere party is just getting started, coming up. Do I dare try the most posted and popular internet food challenges? You guys, they're hilarious. Plus, a must-try local restaurant who turned its parking lot into a garden oasis. The premiere week of LA Unscripted will be right back. Imagine and rediscover California with us. Welcome back to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon, and we've been celebrating KTLA's new daily 7 p.m. show all week. Megan, tell us, you've been here with me. Oh, it's been so fun. I know a lot of people were in the thick of this global pandemic, right? So they're stuck at home. They want something to do. So I thought, <laughs> Why don't I dare Dana to take part in some internet challenges? And guess what? She said, yes, I did it. I'm <laughs> still breathing up cinnamon as we speak. Take a look. So I've been dared to do some of the most insane internet food challenges. And you brought me along. It did. Right. For, oh, that's right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. And what is this, the chubby bunny? Chubby bunny. We used to do these at sleepovers. Seriously? Yes. So the object is to fit as many marshmallows as possible in your mouth, but you still have to be able to say the words chubby bunny. OK, ready? One. Do you, uh, I have a small mouth, yeah. historically. That's not what I would think. Oh, uh well. -huh. Two. Chubby bunny. Can you in the center, queen? I can only do four. <laughs> you must have a big mouth because, yeah, that was good. Okay, so now we're doing the saltine challenge. So okay. you have to eat six in a minute with no water. About no, it. I yeah. think I got this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to start the timer. Ready? Start. Even one. Mm. Maybe last time you had a saltine. <laughs> What's the time? We're not doing well. It's 58, 59. Ugh. That's interesting. We failed. Well, I, I haven't been able to swallow. I know. I heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is the cookie challenge. OK. Get a cookie, put it on your face, and then try to work all your angles and your chins, not yours, mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you see who gets it in their mouth first. Just get another and start over. OK, you ready? OK, no. Go. Go. Okay, so this is the famous cinnamon challenge. <coughs> so you okay. try to swallow a spoonful in under 60 seconds, okay? So wait on there, because I'm gonna leave some things okay. here. Do I put it in my mouth? So you, you can start to put it, do it slow though. It says the sun can be dangerous if there's a risk of gagging or choking on the sun, especially, but wait, um, uh, seriously damage the lungs and you could, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coffee gagging fin. Yep. Ah! Ah! All right, this is a double dog Dana Dare. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, it involves some Sprite. Okay. A banana. Okay. And then don't look. <laughs> what <laughs> trash can? A trash can. Because you might need it. You're gonna yeah, vomit? Yeah, yeah, so it's this new challenge and it's really gone all over social media. You wanna see it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. You ready? I tap out. Are you I sure? tap out. Dana, I'm out. out. Are you sure? I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god. They said exorcism vomit. Yeah, I'm and out. I hear you could throw it for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Or all day. No. Okay. Next time. 
Okay, okay, okay. I just want to say, don't try all of that at home. It could be a little dangerous, just saying. And wait, I do have more when it comes to food. This is how food is done the right way. Do you want to go on a vacation without even leaving Los Angeles? The Lapeer Hotel, right here in WeHo, has officially gone on vacay. And guess what? It's on the rooftop. Famous executive chef, we're talking Michael Fiorelli. He's brought his culinary experiences there. And right here to our studio, Dana, are we ready? OMG, uh, this looks so good. I'm starting with pizza. You're okay. from Texas, Texas toast. Oh, Texas toast, oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm, oh. I'm sorry this. if I smell onions are my jam. No, 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 that's fine, I can deal. Oh my mm. gosh, this. Oh my God. Oh, the sausage How knot. can this be bread, this is unbelievable. Do you like thin crust? Or like a deep dish crust pizza? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try that one. Do you want some, oh, here's some fries, by the way. Do you have the water? Yeah, here. Here's the fries. Okay, I'm gonna wash that. it down with fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the water, yeah. okay. Try that toast for me, please. Okay, I did, the toast is insane. Oh, okay, the chicken. Oh! The fries are so good. I love thin fries. Oh, that is bubbly. Oh! oh that is good. Amazing, okay, I have to try a piece of pizza. Mm. mm, mm, mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, come on, give it to me. Holy uh, smoke. Mm -hmm. You can visit them every Tuesday through Saturday for the rest of the year. Email them your request at reservations at oliveta.la. Now this is how people should be passing oh, the sure time, right? Mm. Coming up, LA Unscripted will class it up with Jessica Holmes and check out what she has cooking, plus an Echo Park Cafe causing an Instagram feeding frenzy. LA Unscripted has a lot more to say. Oh. You know, I hope you're having as much fun as we are because we really did create this show as a safe haven during a still very stressful time. And now, do I have a spot to share with you? Creating a beautiful meal with an amazing ambiance? Not an easy order these days. But now, Lady Bird Cafe has landed in Eagle Rock and foodies and bloggers alike can hardly handle it. Oh my gosh, the burger's so good. So this actually used to be our parking lot really? and we transformed this entire space into a magical little garden complete with your own private bungalow. This is so charming, it's safe, it's all the Instagram influencers here like it. How did you come up with this idea? When I heard Garcetti had allowed parking lots to expand, I said, okay, we gotta get creative because no one wants to sit in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. And it's been probably one of the most challenging things I've had to do and I wanted to hold on tight to the dream and just give people a space to excel. Like we're in really uncertain times and people still need that experience. This is the lemon poppy seed pancake. Poppy seed pancake. And then the blueberry jam. Yes. Okay. Mm. That is outstanding. This French toast is thicker than my mattress at home. Mm. Oh my God. No joke, I think this is the best French toast I've ever had in my life. Really? I'm from Texas, so yes. I like a good burger. Our burger is like a classic burger. Okay. I have a really large mouth, but not <laughs> this large. This is gonna be messy, but that's what it's all about. vegan dishes are amazing, so you have to try this too. I love a restaurant that has the best burger you've ever tried and yet vegan meals. I have such a difficult time going to have a meal with friends because mm. everyone's like, I'm gluten free, right. I'm vegan, no, I'm vegetarian, I'm a pescatarian. Our place is all about inclusivity. Do you guys have cocktails? We are open seven days a week. We open at 8.30 a.m., breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we have beer and wine, which makes our lovely evenings with our lights and the romance so much better. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can't handle the space Misty created. The food is so good. Megan, she makes this French toast out of sourdough. Okay, mouth-watering. You mentioned a burger. burger. 
the sauce. Oh, the secret sauce. Take me to Echo Park, my it friend. It is so good. I think I'm gonna Uber it tonight. Okay. Honestly, okay, so I'll good. Okay, I'll come over. It's come me over. inviting my yes, friend. Yes, yes, all right. Do you know, by the what? way, why we call the segment, Can You Handle It? Yes, social media handle. Can you handle it? Yes! No, so I didn't even get that. So people can understand what it is all the hype is about. You get it? I didn't even get no. that until just now. I just okay, thought so it was so great. Can you handle we're it? We're learning things here. Mm -hmm. And we also had a really great week. What was your favorite moment? Okay. Wow. I love the food challenge that we did. <laughs> yes. I thought it was, oh my gosh, the break <laughs> room bunny. was amazing. Uh. That roller oh skates, my gosh, right? Roller not skates. blades. Liberty Chan's all about the blades, but we right here, skates. roller skates, glitter. It has oh, been sorry. an amazing yes. week, yes. and here is our quick look at our very first week's Friday Follies. Do I have everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can come out. We can use that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good blooper. That's okay. a really good. Here, I'll just keep my lips down. You okay. can't call your own blooper thing. Yeah. Why not? Right. Oh! So, are you rolling? No, no, I won't. That's a good idea. I just let us know when you're I'm sorry, Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> Even without a mic at the show, you can hear it. Hit it so hard that they can't see vivid. They think it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five God. Congratulations on your show. Oh, thank you so much. Congratulations on being just an awesome. Well, by the way, I have to ask your thoughts on the election. I screwed it up, sorry. I was ad living and I got caught. Healthy vibes flow. Take package. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were um, in court, actually. Uh, no, 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 they let me out specifically for this. Watch, everybody will do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That may, might be my favorite segment. And you know, that's just five episodes. Wait until we really get going. Dana, I can't believe you had me stuffing marshmallows in my mouth. And the cookies on her face. Like, seriously? But you know who didn't? Flub, you know who doesn't do stuff She never like does. That? Because she's so classy. KTLA 5 Morning News anchor, Miss Jessica Holmes. Right now, she's back and she's cooking up something really special. I thought this would be a nice, quick weeknight meal. A pea and prosciutto pasta with a creamy lemon sauce. So I'm going to chop up a shallot as my base for this sauce. It's really quick. It all happens in one pan in the back and we're good to go. So back here we have our shallot in the pan. I used about a half a stick of butter as the base of our sauce. And you just want to cook down the shallot. I added a pinch of salt. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper. And then to that, a splash of chicken stock. Let that cook down. And then we've got our garlic. Get some fresh garlic in the pan. There we go, one clove, two cloves. This sauce comes together so fast. So our pasta is done. In here, in this pot, I have spaghetti, really salted water. And I'm gonna pull that spaghetti out in just a minute. It's got another minute to go. Pasta's going in, spaghetti. Let me bring it closer. Spaghetti in. And I cook it al dente, so it's about a minute under where it should be because I'm gonna continue to cook it in the pan. And to that, lemon zest. I want this to be really lemony, so I'm gonna first zest and then I'm gonna add some juice. To our pasta, I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon. And then I have a mug. I'm gonna go back into my pasta water, add about a quarter cup of pasta water, mix, in go our peas, frozen peas, but they've been thawing on the counter for like 20 minutes. But the, you can pull them right out of the freezer, you don't even need to thaw them. Get those warmed through. This is all happening so fast. I'm about to burn my prosciutto. Okay, prosciutto, ah, coming out, cream. Splash of heavy cream, Parmesan cheese. And this dish is done, you guys, but I'll show you how to finish it. All right, lots of parm. Stir this around. That was so quick. I could barely keep up with how quick this dish was. Okay, pasta going in. 
all the peas and the Parmesan and the lemon and cream. And to that, I take the prosciutto, which is so lovely and crispy. And I just sprinkle that on top of our pasta. A little more Parmesan cheese. Prosciutto and peas and spaghetti with lemon. And here is some very sparkly bubbly to celebrate our first week of LA Unscripted. Oh, she is gorgeous. Right? And so are you, Miss Dana. And yes, we will still be on the KTLA weekend morning show. That is right. And yeah. you know what? But they're scripted. Here, not so much. <laughs> no. Again, you guys, cheers. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you every weekday here at 7 p.m. And again, you guys, anything can happen. And by the way, send me a dare. I'd love to hear what you want me to do. Ooh, or as I like to call it, a double dug. Dana dear, right? And also, let me just grab this right here. Share your trends with benefits, or you can reveal your favorite LA hotspot. LA Unscripted is for all of us coming together in a whole new way. Cheers, cheers Megan. Megan! And cheers, cheers to everyone. Here cheers. you go. Just kidding. Oh, this is how it breaks down. Breaks down. Breaks down. So say, hey, oh, when you hear it break down.